Hi everyone. So one of the important topics that we are going to discuss cyclotron. Okay. So cyclotron is a very important topic in the state state board aspect because uh, when I say questions, you can expect from this. And even in need perspective also, this is important because the kinetic energy of the cyclotron, I mean the cyclotron electron and uh, or I mean the charged particle and uh, anything you can expect from this. Working and construction and all like you have to learn and for the state board exam only. But you have to know what are the what is exactly the cyclotron. And even magnetic Lorentz force, it's an application of magnetic, important application of magnetic Lorentz force. So you, you could expect a question that is uh, from uh, Lorentz force combined with cyclotron. Could be like one one uh, charge of particle is accelerating inside the cyclotron. And what would be the value of that, uh, I mean, the parameters of that particular chart, etc. You can expect all those things. Alright, so cyclotron, it is, it is used to accelerate a charged particles, oh, sorry, a, char a charged particles inside, uh, so we, to gain kinetic energy. So it is used to accelerate charged particle to gain kinetic energy. So this is what is cyclotron. I think you have got it. So next is, what is the principle? So why do we need accelerated charged particles? There are many applications, okay. We need accelerated charged particles in many occasions. For example, to bombard something, you know what is X-ray, right? What is X-ray? An accelerated charged particle is a hitting on a metal target. So we'll produce X-ray. So uh, there are some frequencies, some particular things about that and we will study that. Okay, don't worry. And such applications are there for that. So that is why we learn these things. Okay, we should learn. Alright. So then principle. What is the principle of this? Magnetic Lorentz source. What is magnetic Lorentz source? So principle, you, you, you are not supposed to write magnetic Lorentz source only. So you have to write like when a charged particle entered to a magnetic field, it will deflect and it will start moving. I mean, there will be a force acting on that. So it will move, it will deflect accordingly. So that you have to write over there. Second thing you have to note that in magnetic Lorentz force itself, there is a maximum condition that is if the angle between the velocity vector and B is equal to 90 degree, then what is the case? The maximum Lorentz force will, we will get and that maximum Lorentz force is associated with a circular path, a circular path. So this is what is the principle. So uh, first, what is cyclotron? What is principle? And uh, so it's a device which is find out like a scientist and the name of the scientist and everything it is given in the textbook and you can check that. And no, no, we don't need that actually. Okay. So next is construction. Construction, you have to check the textbook uh, figure. Three figures are given. So those are beautiful figures and uh, you, I'll, you, you have to refer that right now along with me. I'll, I'll give it here. So look at the, here one north and south pole magnets are there. A pair of, um, I, mean, I mean, magnetic poles are given there. And what is the property of that? I mean, they might be electromagnets or they might be high uh, magnetic field. I mean, uh, strong magnets. They can produce strong magnetic field. Why, why do they uh, keep magnets like that? Because it will be perpendicular to the plane of that sheet. So the plane of that main central part, it will be perpendicular. So that central part is apparently that is that allows the movement of that charged particle. Okay, so look at that. It is here, north pole here, south pole here. So the magnetic field from north to south, like this. It is perpendicular to the plane. Next is, one oscillator is given. So oscillator which oscillates, which oscillates the charged particle. Okay, where the charged, pa charged particle accelerates or oscillates. Okay, so that is what is the thing. And next is, and look at the uh, diagram carefully and read it and understand what is exactly given in that. Okay. So construction, you have to when when you when there is an essay question in the exam, if there is an essay question in the exam, you have to draw the figure. Figure is very important. 
Okay, so better you you are not supposed to draw all three figures. One beautiful, I mean, uh, proper picture is enough. Okay. So construction and working. How it is working? So it's the same idea. So that is working. Also, you have to read, and I'll explain that. So when a charged particle enters the magnetic field in a 90 degree, I mean, in perpendicular to that, so it, it starts moving. So it will start moving, and uh, at after half of the circle, so the polarity changes. So what will happen? It will cover the next half. So it will cover in that way. Okay. So look at this. So what? What? what first, it will start, and half of the circle it will complete. And then what will happen? The polarity changes because 90 degree will be the angle will change, right? So it will complete a full circle and it it rotates like that. So actually, and when when you consider, listen, when you consider the equation m v squared by r is equal to q v v, m v squared by r is equal to q v v. That is the maximum Lorentz force, which is equal to the centripetal force that we have seen before. So r is equal to m v divided by q v. R is equal to m v divided by q v. And one thing it is sorry. I am going to write you. One thing it is very clear: R is proportional to V velocity. So what does that exactly mean? Which means if the velocity of the uh, particle is increases, which means the radius increases. So initially the forces keep on acting on that, right? So initially there is a force acting on that, so it will increase. So what will happen? The forces keep on increasing. Because the force is acting, so the constant force is acting. So acceleration is happening. So velocity increases. So velocity increases means the radius increases. So it would be like a spiral. It would be like a spiral structure. Look at this, like this, in a in a two line. Like think about in a plane. Think about like a plane. Okay. So like that. So it is a. It would be like a spiral. So what will happen after? Like uh, so for, at the end of this. Uh, that oscillator, I mean, th th there is a structure over there, right? So at the end of that, what will happen? Something will happen, like at the maximum point, there will be a op an opening. There will be an opening, and through that opening, this charged particle will come out. Okay, we would we would let it out. So through that opening, okay, through that opening. So this is what is happening there. So listen. force is acting on that and it will change the velocity the ve it, so apparently the velocity change would make a difference in the radius so the radius keep on increasing and uh, at the maximum point at this point i mean when it comes out the radius will be maximum and the velocity will be also maximum as possible okay that is what is the working and one more thing you have to note What is the cyclotron frequency? Yeah, it's equal to QB divided by two pi m. I told you at that time itself, QB divided by two pi m is the cyclotron frequency, and time period is equal to two pi m divided by QB, two pi m by QB. And what about the kinetic energy? We want to get the maximum kinetic energy to gain the maximum kinetic energy. What is the kinetic energy? Is half m square. So uh, substitute for V. V is equal to uh, QB R divided by m. So Q B Q square B square R square divided by two M. So this is what is the kinetic energy. So these are the important things about cyclotron. And one more thing, uh, like in in straight board perspective, obviously we have to write the limitations of cyclotron. What are the limitations of cyclotron? The speed of the ion is limited. So the ion speed is limited here. So why? Because we know that if radius increases, then it will increase. So we cannot have. Practically, it is impossible to have a large plate like that. I mean, large oscillator like that. So that is why. And also, if you can, if you can produce a large oscillator, how can you produce that much big uh, magnet? It's uh, not possible practically. That is one of the limitations. Next one, electron cannot be accelerated. That is another important thing. Electron cannot be accelerated here. So electron acceleration. I mean, negative charges we cannot accelerate. I mean, even negative charges, if we can accelerate negative charges, the mass of the electron is very very less. Mass is very very less. So that is why we cannot accelerate electron. Okay. So and these are the major disadvantages. And uh, then uh, we will we'll continue the discussion in the next classes, and we have to solve all the example and exercise problems. I know that. and we will uh
like possibly we will do it in the next class itself happy learning thank you